They're your roommate, Rebecca. Hi, I'm Sarah. I protected you! What did you do to them? I got rid of them all! Whoa, come on! For you. You know what, Leighton is actually the worst experience I've had with a roommate. Um, but what's great about this movie is that I think everyone has had an experience with a roommate or knows someone who has. You know, I think a lot of people have had friends or roommates or people that they're paired up with. I mean, especially in college when you're paired up with someone you don't know at all and you're forced to live with them. Um, it's strange and it's a little scary, but I think everyone's had a friend or something, you know, that, that, that's been a little too nosy. But this is, uh, this is an extreme situation. Something is up with your roommate. What do you mean? It was intense working with Leighton. A lot of the times when she just gives a look, I feel like it's really creepy. She doesn't even have to say anything, which is a testament to her skill, is that sometimes she just gives a look and it sends a chill down your spine. Rebecca's doing really well. She's doing good. She's taking her medication. Medication? Rebecca. I've, you know, read books, watched movies, and I, I also got to speak to psychiatrists who, um, you know, have gone to court defending people who are mentally unfit. And it was very helpful. They kind of gave me an idea or the background of why Rebecca would do what she does and what makes someone like this. You guys free? We're going to seven grand. How are we gonna get in? We're hot. <laughs> Did you see that guy checking you out? <laughs> Is, you know, having to fall in love with Minka Kelly is easy, obviously, and uh, for obvious reasons. Um, and Leighton has such an understanding of what it takes to be creepy. We did one scene where I don't even see her, and we're in the library, and she has, you can actually, you can feel her presence because she has, I don't know, she has just such a strong energy where it's, it's very unsettling. I love suspense. I love not knowing what's going on and being on the edge of your seat. I have that terrible habit of trying to guess and predict what's going to happen. And the times where I'm actually surprised and I, I guess incorrectly, I, I just, those are the best, the best moments for me. This movie is a different type, you know, it's much more of a psychological thriller, um, but it's still got its scary points and it's, uh, it's fun and it's sexy and it's a ride.